Hi guys, so I recently hauled some brushes from Alpha. And I just wanted to show you guys how I prepare those. So I have two different types here. I have my gel brushes, which are these ones here. I have a number eight flat gel brush. That's what this one is. And then I have a number six oval short gel brush, which is this one. And then I have two Kalinsky acrylic brushes, an oval number 10 and an oval number 8. So first I'm going to show you how I prepare these ones here. So my hands have been washed and cleaned. I have no oils on them or anything. Now if you have an issue with touching your brushes, the bristles, because you don't want to transfer oils, you don't have to, but for me it's the easiest way. So what I'm going to do is all brushes come with glue on the top, so I'm just going to break that up. Now you could use a paper towel instead if you didn't want to use your fingers. So you would just run the brush over until that glue starts to break up. So I'm literally just going back and forth. I'm not pushing down really hard because I don't want to damage the bristles, but I am doing hard enough to where it's going to break up any glue. The next thing I'm going to do is this is just isopropyl alcohol and I, and I use 91%. Um, that's just my personal preference. So what I'm going to do is I just have some paper towels here and I'm just going to spray that and this is just going to remove any of the glue residue and I'm just going to keep rubbing that. Some people do use a mild detergent on their brushes, say like a baby soap or a gentle hand soap. Then my only issue with that is sometimes is sometimes they put oils in the soap and that gets transferred onto your brush and then when you go to do your gels, gel is very sensitive to oils for lifting. So when you go to use it, it's going to transfer some of that oils onto your gel and your nails and that can cause lifting. So I much prefer using the alcohol, you know, but each person to their own. If you have your way of prepping your brushes, by all means do that. So I just kind of work it so that it's in shape. I make sure that there's no bristles that are out of whack. And then because this one comes with its own cover, I'm just going to go ahead and cover that. And then that's ready for gel the next time I need to use it. I will prepare the other gel brush the exact same way. So that's what this one looks like. You see the shape's a little bit different. This is the oval. And it's slightly smaller. So again, I'm just going to use the paper towel to break up the glue. And once I can feel the bristles are moving really well, I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the alcohol. Because alcohol dries really quickly, you don't have to worry too much about liquid dripping into the ferrule of the brush. But if I was using something like water, you would want to make sure that you're storing your brushes upright so that the bristles are pointing down so that any moisture will drip down as opposed to into the ferrule. Because that can, over time, weaken the glue that holds the bristles together. So just like the other one, I make sure that it's in a nice shape, there's no stray bristles. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cover that. So for the acrylic brushes, it's a little bit different. You're going to need monomer. So this is my Dappen dish. This is some older monomer that I don't use for doing actual acrylics anymore, but it still works for this. So I just put a little bit in there. I'm still going to be using my pit brush here. So, so this is the number 10 Alpha Oval Kalinsky. And I'll have the link down below for you guys if you're interested in any of the brushes. They're really inexpensive. I have not used these yet, so I don't know how they perform. So just like the other one, you're going to break it up. And you can actually see the glue on this. See all that glue? So what you want to do is you just want to break that up and get as much of it to fall off as possible. So I'm just going to go back and forth on my paper towel like I did with the other one. And if I was using a different color background, you'd be able to actually see the glue falling. And again, I'm doing it really gently. I'm not trying to break any of my bristles. So once I feel like I've got as much off as I can doing it that way, I'm going to go ahead and dip into the monomer. Now this monomer I will not use to do my nails. This is strictly to clean and prep the brush. So I'm just going to go back and forth. And this is just breaking up any glue that's on the bristles 
and then I'm going to wipe it and again and I'm just going to keep doing this a couple times until I feel like it's behaving the way I want it. So once I feel like I've got that glue off there, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it to the shape that I like. That's what the brush looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and let that air dry. And again, I'm going to make sure that it's held up and down or that it's laying flat so that no moisture is going to get into that ferrule. And that brush is ready to go for the next time you apply your acrylics. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the number 8. I'll go ahead and speed it up so you can watch the process. And this one you can see it's hard with the glue. The other one I had already started working. So again I'm going to get my paper towel and I'm just going to start breaking up that glue. Okay, so there's that one prepped. And like I said, I'm just going to let that air dry. And if you're wondering about the size comparison, there's the 8 compared to the number 10. I hope you found this quick tutorial useful. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And as always, thank you for watching.